I came in America last year on May 10th. Me and my family, my children, seven children, and me and my wife. I'm North Africa. I'm America. But my country now is no good. Situation is very bad because of civil war. I came here to settle my life here. Like I was a refugee, but I want to change my life from refugee to residence. ไอ้ออกมาเสกโกเลยนับนับซะอเมริกาไหนกันยอกๆชิงสิเดมาตาอ้าปอบาไปลุดตาตัวอ่ะอะอาบาจองเลยสรุปจนเราก็เป็นน
that adjustment is extremely difficult for the male. Now the wife does not only start to participate, but at times might start to dominate the conversation. تو ایران خب بچه ها از پدرشون زیاد حساب میبرن تو در ایران معمولا پدر سالاری در ایران معمولا پدر سالاری در اینجا بچه سالاریه در ایران پدر اگه بگه مرشاد مثلا فلان کار نکن بچه تو سعی میکنه همشون گوش بده ولی در آمریکا بچه پدر نمیتونه به بچه زیاد تحکیب کنه که تو فلان کار بکن When families come here, they actually they bring a lot of strengths, and one is more of a hierarchy, and kids from most other countries are not expected to disagree with parents, to talk back to them. Here, because our culture changes so fast, we try and teach children to be independent. So often when kids will go to school, they'll learn to speak up, and then when they come home and they do that, um, it can be very upsetting for parents who aren't used to that. Some of the biggest adjustments are around supervision and around discipline. Here are some of the challenges they openly tell me. You're telling me I cannot beat my children. No, because you will end up in prison and they will take your children away from you. Well, how do you expect me to discipline my children then? A very effective means of discipline, regardless of culture, is taking away privileges, such as watching TV, playing games, spanking, is something that a lot of cultures do a lot of and in the United States it's not as common. There's a difference between spanking and abuse and that's a concern. You know, abuse is when a mark is left and it's done in anger and it's done um, to hurt the child. Spanking is a consequence for a behavior that's clear. My name is Nadia Ainte. I go to school in T.C. William High School. I live in Alexandria. Oh, what else? Thank you, and now for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. My school was very different because the new, new student, um, new school, new teachers, I was like, I wasn't, I was feeling scared in school. Um, I don't have any friends. I wasn't speaking English. But now, I think I'm doing well now. All right, let me see where you are in your workbook. I think American kids, they have more freedom than me because their religion is okay. And like the movies or like the boyfriends, my religion is not. I can go with my friends, my best friend, they, if the boy or girl, it doesn't matter. But the boyfriend, we can't go outside, that my religion says. Ideally, it would be nice to think that they can keep their old culture and yet learn the new culture and keep a balance, but that's ideal. In real world, what happens is a struggle between strictly keeping the old culture on one side and an adjustment or the need to change on the other side sometimes collide. It's important for parents to try to understand their child's life, to find out about what school is like, you know, what are their challenges in school, because sometimes they feel torn between two worlds. They really want to, they want to please their parents and they want to do well, but they're their peers, their friends, are also really important. I 
actually, I'm a person that likes to talk a lot. And whenever I came to America, I couldn't actually speak in English, so I couldn't talk. And it made me feel bad. Whenever I was trying to tell my friends what I think, that they're doing that wrong, and so I just was trying to tell them to stop, that it hurts my feelings. Every time I opened my mouth, they were start making fun of me. And the only thing I can do is just go to the restroom and cry. I was crying all day long, every day. Now, I have friends and people actually think that I'm popular, but actually I'm the same person. My advice for other refugee kids is that the one hard thing for them is to learn how to speak English because the thing that you need is uh, to speak, to understand your teachers, your, uh, your neighbors, uh, where you work because the, they explain you everything, especially when you're in school, when you're young. My advice to other people coming is just to be the way they are or don't try to like be friends with everybody like just be the way you are and some people will like you some people won't it's normal it's just the way it is well we are um we are teaching left to right sequence they're learning how to sit still and attend to a certain activity um learning how to share just a lot of things going on here ESL, English as a Second Language, um, is specialized classes for students um, to help them learn, develop their English skills in the areas of reading, writing, speaking, and listening. Our ESL students turn out to be our, some of our better students, even though there's that language barrier there. What is that? Bug. What's the first thing here in bugs? B. Yeah. My son came from school and I was trying to help him and he started to pronounce the word his teacher the way his teacher pronounced it but not the way I pronounce it. And I said yes you can just go ahead. It's very hard for me to just change my tongue but for you it's easy to do so because you are learning right here. <laughs> and so you can just go ahead with what the teacher said. <laughs> and, uh, After a while children learn English faster obviously they go to school, they become the leaders in the house. That, do the kids bring papers from school in English? Yeah. Yeah, everything. What do they do when they bring it to school? They don't know English. They know Я вижу просто английском. The child is very powerful now. He, she becomes an interpreter with social services, health services. Therefore, parents should always have available interpretation, and that should not be their child, which happens a lot of times. It's really destructive. In this school we have several special area teachers. We have a gym class, we have an art class, and then we, of course we have a music class. You know, um, whether you're from Laos or Vietnam or Cambodia or Bosnia, they all come here, they all understand music. They might not all be able to speak the same language, but you know, they can feel music. If you're thinking that you're just going to go to school and learn English and science and math and that's it, you're wrong. I mean, there are other things to learn and, you know, express yourself in music and Come here and just have a good time. Your hair style, your hair class, you had everything to make a love last. You had wit, you had charm, you had me hanging off of your arm. When I found out you were a fake, you 
ran up and bit me like a snake. I wasn't the one who's right for you. You need a man to do your rolling like you wanted to do. Oh, why you wanna be so cold? Why you wanna be so mean? You gonna let your true colors show your perpetual blues machine. This year I had um, a, st a student from Somalia. The parents, they want him to do his best in school. They want him to be happy in school. And because of their enthusiasm, Zachariah has become very confident and is becoming a very successful student. Me and my wife, we are all uh, involved to the school because we, it's the future of our children. The future of the children. The future of the children is the future for us. That's the main point for us. We came here, the main important we came here to learn school for our children. You know, some parents, uh, they will tight for children, don't listen to music, don't see the movie, don't say, but I'm not like that. They can show the film, can they listen to the music, but I'm, I'm telling you always to learn school and to make practice for the homework, and, uh, and that's my attention. There are certain things that are worth arguing over and that you have to be firm about as a parent, like no drug use that is not allowed. But you, it often helps to be more flexible on hairstyle, on the kinds of clothes that kids wear. And so it's setting some limits while being flexible in other ways. Actually, whenever I come from school, it is really important to do our homework because it's the most, the most of your grades in America. You do your homework, you get a good grade. Then after I finish, of course, I have two brothers and, well, they're boys. And they don't like to clean and stuff. They always mess everything up. So I got to clean after them because my mama comes from work and I don't really want her to be upset. That's what we do most of the time when we have free time after school. But if we don't have free time, we do our homework. <laughs> We're trying to do it every day so we can hang out with our friends, don't sit home alone, and that's it. For my mom, to get used to in here, it was the hardest part. Because there is no people that can help her. There is nobody that she can go and uh, talk to, uh, especially the job. It was hard for her to find a uh, right job for her because before she came here, she didn't work. And now she, she took all responsibilities for herself. Mm. Right. 
Why did you do the school today? Did you have a good day? Yes. Okay. Uh, were you helping your teacher cooking, drawing? And uh, one thing that shook me is that I feel that going to the United States, I'm 100% secure. But when I came, I mean, the very night, the next day, I could just hear a police car, wow, 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 wow. wow. I, mean, I was like, but what is going wrong? <laughs> I left the same thing behind. And so we are working on that to see how best we can leave the neighborhood and move to another neighborhood that would be you know, on a safe side for our children. I think by being in a better neighborhood can help them to interact with good people and gain better knowledge. Back home, like when we talk about America, <laughs> a lot just like almost like heaven because we feel that there is no hard time in America. Like being in America, your life is fine. You face no problem. Anything you want, you get it. Anything you want, you get it. Just how we feel back home. Is that true? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Well, actually, life here is better, but difficult. You know, life is better in the United States, but difficult. You have to go under some other stress, difficulties before gaining a better one that you anticipated from the beginning. You know. to play this sometime because it's saying don't worry be happy uh -huh. don't worry no matter what you will have a better chance here in the United States you want to be happy you know just keep being happy and just pray to God work hard you will get what you need and so I just love playing this sometime when I hope <laughs>